Hello, everyone. Thank you so much again for joining Jasmine and I for our spotlight this month for the month of August. We are extremely excited to have with us Ms. Tanya Trice from the South Shore Chamber of Commerce. Um, unfortunately, we are having to do it virtually. Um, we thought we would be at your, your wonderful summer event that you host every summer. I mean, they are phenomenal. I've been to several. I love the community engagement. And I mean, you guys get top artists to come out. So maybe there's something coming virtually in the near future with you all, but we're super excited to have you. How are you doing today? I'm fine. And thank you all so much for having me. Uh, this is really a pleasure and an honor to be with you this morning. Thank you, thank you. So we wanna actually go ahead and we wanna get started and we want to actually learn more about you, Tanya Trice, and the work that you've been doing um, at the South Shore Chamber of Commerce. And for those of you who don't know, uh, Tanya is the executive director of the South Shore uh, Chamber of Commerce. So if you could tell people a little bit about the chamber, what you do, and actually how you became the executive director. Okay, great. Um, you know, I have been the executive director now for three years. I've been with the chamber for about six. Um, I started with them as the SSA 42 program manager, and it was really uh, a job and a career path that I just stumbled across. Uh, my background is in real estate sales and development. My husband and I um, owned and, and still do own uh, a real estate company and a construction company. And um, during 2007 and 2008, we all know the real estate market crashed and I was just kind of looking for something different. And um, when this job came about in 2014, you know, I just thought it would be a good idea for me to apply for something. It was in the neighborhood that I live in. And uh, fortunate for me, I, um, um, was given the job as the SSA 42 program manager. And it really turned into something that um, I enjoyed working with the small businesses, working in the community that I live and love in. How fortunate am I to be able to work five minutes from home? Um, I had deep ties to the community because um, I've lived in South Shore for about 22 years now. Uh, my husband a little longer than, than me. Um, I met my husband here in South Shore. Uh, so, you know, we had deep ties to the community. So it was an easy transition. Uh, my predecessor decided to retire and um, I, I'm fortunate enough that the board uh, felt that um, it would be easy for me to transition into the role as ED. And um, we have been doing um, what I think is a pretty good job of um, rebuilding the chamber uh, over the past three years. Um, most of our board members are um, newer. Um, we have created a new strategic plan and a new vision for the community and um, have tried to create more robust programming uh, to provide the services that our small businesses need. We are also uh, a resource center for our small businesses too. So we provide access to capital, public and private uh, sector capital. Uh, we do business development and training. We are a liaison for the city of Chicago and the state of Illinois and the small business community and also our elected officials. We uh, advocate on behalf of our small business owners and we do some public policy work as well. That's so amazing. I really love to hear the stories of someone who's, you know, a staff member and then you rise up the ranks. Like that's just so incredibly inspirational for our black and brown community. Um, and I'm really excited to hear more about the work that you're doing in the chamber. Um, and with that, I mean, share with us a little bit about what is the day-to-day -day like for an executive director of the team? Wow. Well, um, you know, that's the one thing that I do love about my job, uh, Jasmine. Every day I'm doing something different. So many wonderful opportunities come my way. Just, for example, me having an opportunity to speak with you guys this morning for Shy Biz, Shy Biz Hub and World Business Chicago. These are opportunities that most people would not get um, in a normal nine to five job. Um, I could be meeting with um, 
President Obama one day and uh, having a fantastic summer festival, um, you know, the next. So that, that's been the greatest thing, you know, just having an opportunity to meet a variety of people, um, working with my colleagues and other community-based organizations and elected officials to really shape the trajectory of our South Shore community, um, meeting with the small business owners and helping them solve their problems. And we, we try and provide them with specific and tailored support. Um, all of our businesses are in different stages. Uh, some are early stage entrepreneurs and some are much more seasoned and some are on the, um, you know, downhill end of their businesses looking forward to retirement and maybe transitioning out or turning their business over to a family member. So we provide them with resources and uh, expertise and try and meet them where they are so that they can sustain and or thrive. Awesome. And it's, it's so encouraging to hear that you are a resident. So you are very familiar with the South Shore community. You, you like you said, you met your husband there. You've, you call that place home. So it's so exciting to hear now that you're able to, you know, transition and work for the chamber and just continue to do great things in the neighborhood. Yes. Um, as I shift a little bit, I know that there have been some challenging times most recently due to the COVID-19 pandemic, and especially for uh, neighborhoods um, on the south side of Chicago, there has recently been civil unrest that has taken place. And so if you can share with us what has been most challenging for the chamber, and I really would like for you to share how you have been able to pivot, because you guys have phenomenal stories of how your community came together during those times and worked together um, tirelessly to really ensure that neighborhoods um you know across the city of chicago could use you as a model of what it looks like to stand together in your community and to protect your businesses yes absolutely um you know first and foremost we um needed to check on the well-being of our business owners because you know going through COVID, something that none of us have ever experienced before um, the decline in business and revenue for um, these business owners that rely on this, this is how they feed their families. And to go through one recovery period for COVID and then to go into yet another recovery period after the civil unrest, it was very emotional, uh, not just for our business owners, but for me as well. Um, we know these people personally. And uh, one story that sticks out to me um, is of a small business owner who opened a boutique. She's a young African-American woman and she opened a boutique in South Shore um, less than a year ago. And she was really doing well and, and thriving, very happy, um, excited about the growth of her business. And uh, she was looted and they took all of her inventory, her entire inventory was, was taken. And it was heartbroken, uh, heartbreaking to see her, you know, after going through the growth period. And um, Maurice Cox from the city of Chicago came out to our district to visit. And we went in to see her and she had a table with t-shirts on the table. And she said, you know, I am going to rebuild and I'm just going to start small. So I'm selling t-shirts today and I'm going to build from there because I want to stay on South Shore. And that type of resiliency is what we need in times like this. You know, people that are committed to the cause, they, they are committed to their dream. And those are the businesses that we have to support. If they make a commitment to, to come into our community and service our community, then organizations like the South Shore Chamber of Commerce have to make the commitment to them as well. And we have been working with this young woman to provide her with all the resources that we can on the local and state level. But in addition to that, um, we, we have done specifically um, those things, identifying resources to help our businesses reopen, uh, to help our businesses sustain until times get better, and also to help them uh, pivot their, their business model in some cases. Many of our businesses have had to go uh, to curbside service, uh, 
develop a more online presence so that they can uh, attract customers uh, back into, um, you know, their, their stores. Um, so it's been challenging, but uh, we have been able to provide assistance through the uh, Paycheck Protection Program. Um, the University of Chicago also gave a small business um, uh, resiliency uh, grant. The SSA, uh, Special Service Area 42, uh, created a, a small business grant of up to $3,000 uh, per business in our district. And uh, those grants have literally helped many of our businesses sustain. Um, we have helped businesses uh, receive the SBA grants and um, most recently the business interruption grant offered by the state of Illinois. So that has been our main focus is identifying resources and making sure that we get uh, the resources in the hands of the business owners and provide them with the technical assistance needed to apply. Thank you, Tonya, for giving one that incredible example of resiliency. I mean, that's what we always want to showcase to of our small business owners here in Chicago. So that was a great example. And just also the great work that you're doing in the chamber, um, being that liaison. Uh, with that said, you know, we have a lot of viewers too that don't necessarily know, like, what does the business ecosystem look in Chicago South Shore? What does it look like? And have you seen an increase in business growth? Um, if so, what do you contribute this to? Uh, yes, I think that there has been an increase in business growth. It's been slight, uh, but I'm very fortunate and grateful, I should say, to the current administration at City Hall. Mayor Lightfoot and her team have put together some phenomenal programs to um, increase economic growth and activity on the south and west sides of Chicago through the Invest Southwest program. Uh, we're very excited to be one of the 10 communities selected um, by the city uh, to participate in this program. And we think that that will provide um, just essential resources um, that we need to strengthen our commercial corridors. Um, also, um, the city is, has many plans uh, underway for some of our uh, blighted commercial corridors. So this influx of um, resource, attention, um, activity has been great for many communities on the south and west sides. Um, there has been uh, quite a bit of um, finance and capital available through some of the sources that I mentioned previously. And again, it, it's much needed. And it does help to strengthen uh, the ecosystem um, in communities like South Shore and uh, provide hope for our business owners and, and those that are thinking of locating their business in South Shore and communities with similar demographics. Awesome. So Jasmine and I really wanted to also, we're, we're, it's so amazing that we were able to get you on um, today. We wanted to say congratulations because we know that the South Shore Chamber of Commerce actually um, is now um, part of the Illinois Small Business Development Center ecosystem. So that is amazing. And if you can share with us, what does that one mean for the South Shore Chamber? And then what are you able to provide now for the South Shore community with the designation? Thank you, and we are very excited to be one of the 35 centers across the state of Illinois. Um, I think it came at the perfect time for South Shore. We really do have a lot of momentum in South Shore right now with the plans for the Obama Presidential Center uh, coming less than a mile away from our main uh, district. The Small Business Development Center will give us an opportunity to provide more concentrated resources um, for uh, uh, entrepreneurs and small business owners. Uh, we will be able to provide one-on-one -on -one consultation and training, small business workshops, uh, again, access to capital. And these are all things that we have been providing in the past, but now we have a greater capacity 
capacity to uh, support more businesses in the community. Uh, we're fortunate that we have been able to hire two new staff uh, personnel as a result of being uh, designated an SBDC. So we have our new SBDC director, Eric Soderberg. He's phenomenal. Um, he is also um, a business development educator, so he is the perfect person for this role. And I'm happy to announce that we recently, recently selected Scott Upshaw as the small business uh, advisor. So uh, just again, meeting our business owners and entrepreneurs where they are and providing them with that customized support that they need and technical assistance that they need to take their businesses to the next level and to provide them with um, access to mentors, experts in their areas um, of business, and um, just be um, a full support uh, from A to Z. That's incredible news. I mean, more folks get on the ground working. I mean, that means more assistance, right? Um, so unfortunately to COVID-19, um, we saw that you won't be hosting your annual summer festival. So we want to make sure that our viewers can know, like, are there any virtual events they can look forward to? How can they, you know, stay in touch with you all during this time? Yeah, I'm so heartbroken. Um, I love the South Shore Summer Festival, and um, we will not be hosting that this year due to COVID. And um, quite honestly, we don't know if we'll be hosting the Summer Festival in 2021 either. Um, as of right now, it has been tentatively canceled. Uh, we have been able to use those resources to support the businesses in the district. Uh, but, you know, there's nothing like a great community engagement event like a summer outdoor concert, right? Uh, that has been one of our biggest customer attraction events of the year in South Shore. Um, right now, we don't have any plans to do anything virtual, but we are looking at doing something um, closer towards the end of the, the year. The South Shore Chamber also has an annual gala that we host every year, and um, we plan to pivot uh, virtually for that this year. So those things are still in the planning stages. Uh, nothing concrete that I can announce right now, but stay tuned because we are working on, on those events and um, hopefully we will be able to bring the summer festival back to the community um, very soon. Wow, I'm sad to hear that. I, I enjoy the summer festival i'm there i love the vendors i have more time sometimes with the vendors um because you learn so much about what is in south shore um south shore i mean i'm not a resident but it holds a special place in my heart because one of my favorite restaurants which is majani's is in south shore so i'm in south shore quite frequently um coming to visit and and, and just really support the business there so Tanya, we are so excited that you took the time to speak with us. And really we want our viewers to um, learn a little bit more about how they can actually um, keep in contact with what the South Shore Chamber of Commerce is doing. So if there is any email addresses or social media outlets that you can share with our viewers, we would love for them to continue to follow you so they can stay tuned to those virtual galas. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me this morning. Um, I never get tired of talking about South Shore because I think it's just a phenomenal community. Uh, one of the only predominantly African American communities in the country that is still on the lakefront. Uh, we have beautiful homes in South Shore, the Jackson Park Highlands and Bryn Mawr East, condos with unobstructed views of the lake. And we have some phenomenal, amazing businesses in the South Shore community. And I would just like to encourage all of our viewers to come to South Shore and tour the districts and find out about some of the independently owned businesses that are doing amazing things and have fantastic products and really be more conscientious about shopping small and shopping local and spending your dollars locally. Um, I too um, would get in my car and drive north or drive to the suburbs before I got involved in this work. 
And I, I realized the value of spending the dollar and how effective it can be if we shop locally. So I would encourage everyone to visit our business districts along 71st, 75th, 79th, Stony Island. We have some amazing businesses in the community. And um, please get in touch with the South Shore Chamber. We're always looking for new members. Uh, membership does have its privileges and there are great values to becoming a member of the Chamber. And you can reach us at 773-955-9508 or email us at info at southshorechamberinc.org. And uh, we're still working virtually Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. So we look forward to hearing from you all. And if there's anything that we can do, um, please reach out to us. And thank you all very much for having me today. Thank you. Well, that concludes our interview with Executive Director Tanya Trice. We hope you all definitely visit, visit those business corridors and take a look at what businesses are available and support them. Until next, have a great day.